And how do your eyes feel? Well, slightly blurred, but it's not uncomfortable. I'm fine, really. OK, let's have a look. Yeah, they certainly look well dilated, so I think you're ready for the photography now. And what's going to happen? Well, what we're going to do is ask you to sit in front of the camera and I'm going to attempt to take two views of the back of each eye, two standard views. All I need you to do is just follow a target. Um, you'll notice a bright flash when the camera fires, so that might just blur your vision for a few seconds. Right, I'm ready. Good, OK. So just to reiterate, we're just going to take two views of each eye. Let me just wheel the camera up nice and close to you. And then all I need you to do is lean forward and put your chin on the rest and just bring your head forward so that your head's touching the bar at the top, nice and tight. How does that feel? Is that comfortable? Fine. Good. Now, all I need you to do is look directly ahead and you should see a little orange light. If you stare at that orange light for me, it's going to change to a green one just outside the camera. That's it, that's perfect. Keep watching that little green one and hold that nice and steady. Both eyes nice and wide for me. Lovely, that's one done. And still on the same eye, you're back again with the orange light. And now the little green one again. So again, just keep watching that little green light and it's going to move away to the left of the camera. So follow it all the way across. That's it, that's lovely. And again, both eyes nice and wide. Hold that nice and steady. Perfect. OK, so that's that eye done. I'm going to move over to your left eye now. And we'll do the same again. So starting with the little orange light. That's it. And again, both eyes nice and wide. And just stare at that little light. There we are, back to the little green one. Keep your eyes on the green one. Good. And then once again, back again with the orange light. And the little green, or it might be a purple one now, moving away to the right of the camera. So just follow that all the way across. Hold that nice and steady for me. Super. There we are. And that's all the photographs taken for you. Well done. You can sit back and relax now. And we can have a look at what we've, what we've got. That looks interesting. Yes, that's what the back of your eye looks like. Uh, we take two views of the back of each eye, which is the requirement of the National Screening Programme. Um, we take two of your right eye and then two images of the back of your left eye. What's that white blob in the middle? Oh, we can enlarge that up and take a look. Let's see. So we'll enlarge that up to fill the screen. There we are. So this bit is the optic nerve. So that's the link between the eye and the brain. Um, and then the dark patch in the middle is the macula, so that's where all your central and your detail vision is. And then you've also got all the blood vessels that come in on the back of the optic nerve which feed the eye, which feed the retina. Uh, do you have any questions? Well, when will I receive the results of my test? Well, what happens now is uh, these images are saved securely onto our database and they go away to our grading centre where they're assessed, where we look for any diabetic damage to the back of the eye. And then when we have a result, we send uh, a letter to yourself and another one off to your GP, which you should get within the next three to six weeks. And then that will also tell you when you're due to come back and have another eye screening. So we've completed the test now? We have, yes. We're all done for today. Excellent. Thank you so much. Thank you. So, leading up to this point, your GP has made a referral to your local diabetic eye screening programme. You've been offered an appointment by letter. The screening process takes about 45 minutes, during which your history has been established, you've had a visual acuity test, your eyes were dilated using eye drops, and the photographs have been taken for grading. Please remember that your eyes will be susceptible to bright light and possibly a little blurred. So bring sunglasses with you, and do not attempt to drive for the following six hours.